come cruising with me on the Norwegian Escape. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Miami, Florida. I am on the Norwegian Escape. And I'll be going on a seven day cruise and I'm gonna take you guys with me for the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys throughout the week. All right, we are setting sail on the Norwegian Escape. It is Sunday, July 30th at 5.35, and we're in the Port of Miami, making our way to the Dominican Republic. We will be there in two days. Coming at you from the 17th deck, Spice H2O. All right, so I want to show you guys my room that I'm staying in. If you guys followed my last cruise, you'll notice that the room is pretty similar to the other ship that I was on, the Norwegian Joy. The only difference is the bed is closer to the door and the couch and uh, credenza counter vanity where the TV is is closer to the balcony. But it's a good sized room. It's not super spacious, but plenty big enough uh, for a cruise. It don't feel cramped at all, and I'll show you guys the balcony in a second, but pretty decent closet space, plenty of room for my clothes. I'll show you guys this side. You know, they got a safe there, plenty of shelves for me to keep all my stuff. And then the bathroom is not, not a terrible size. It's not gigantic, as you can imagine, on a cruise ship, but pretty decent. Enough shelving to keep all my products. Sink, more shelving on the bottom and then a stand-up stall shower, which is very clean, and that's the most important thing for me in a bathroom. Let me, guys, let me show you guys the balcony real quick. But this is the best part about this room, in my opinion, is the fact that I have my own balcony with two chairs and a little table, and more importantly, this amazing view of the ocean. Just can't beat that. And it looks like down this way there may be some weather but it's not affecting us right now so anyways that's my room in the balcony and I'll show you guys more of the ship and of the destinations that I travel hey everybody this is my friend Sue hi Sue what are you are you looking to have a good time on this cruise nice all right Holly Lisa, say hello to YouTube. Hi guys, we're having a great time on this cruise. Yes, I'm having a good time also. So far, day one. It's, it's just day one. We have, and we've been up early, and uh, and we're getting our dinner right now. I'm very excited. I don't even know what to eat. Oh, this is really delicious. I got a pork loin with asparagus and some sweet potato mash. And I'm at a restaurant called, is this Saver or Taste? We're at Saver on the ship. It's included with our cruise. And Holly got chicken piccata. And my sister got a vegetable burrito. And Sue got a New York strip with french fries and a nice heirloom tomato. Good morning, everybody. It is day two on the seven day cruise on the Norwegian Escape. And today is an at uh, sea day, making our way to the Dominican Republic. I don't know if you can see that land mass off in the distance, but I believe that's the Bahamas. And I only say that because my cell phone told me welcome to the Bahamas. And I actually have a little bit of cell service, which is nice. But anyways, day one was a lot of fun. A little too much fun. But uh, I'm here for day two to tell you all about it. And again, I'll show you what my day will be like later on today. Just relaxing on the balcony for a bit. I had a little bit of breakfast. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna make my way up to the adult pool hot tub area in a little while and enjoy this nice, beautiful sunshine. So that's it for now. So this is the casino on level seven. 
It's not a big casino. But these are just a bank of slot machines and there's more tables and slots on the sides. I've tried my luck here and I won a little bit of money, but not much. There's more of the casino on this side and also on this side. So the casino is only open when you're at sea and maybe at port at certain times, but generally mostly in uh, sailing days. And this is really nice. So this is uh, on the seventh deck and you can see up to the eighth deck here. And there's the sixth deck and there's a little photo shoot going on right now. One of the specialty dining restaurants called Le Bistro. It's a French restaurant, which is really, really popular. I've never eaten there. Uh, tonight we are going to the Manhattan Room, which is one of the standard main dining rooms, and we have a reservation for nine o'clock. But we're going to see a comedy show today at seven. Check out this nice little uh, chandelier pendant that drops down, it's pretty cool. ship is gigantic. And this is the atrium, looking down on the sixth deck. They've got live entertainment here all the time. They do a lot of game shows and trivia, things like that. There's a bar down there, just really a good meeting spot in the middle of the ship, in the middle decks. This is Ocean's, which is open really late, so it's the only place that's open really late night in case you need a quick bite after you know maybe a night of drinking or just staying up late it's the only place that you can get food you know in the wee hours of the morning and it's a very limited menu but it's actually really good I had it yesterday on the first night of my sailing and I got some uh, chicken wings and I got some uh, bite-sized pretzels with uh, beer cheese fondue it was delicious and this is the Escape Theater, and this is where we're going tonight to watch a show. Um, show doesn't start until 7, it's only like 10 past 6. And the show we're going to see tonight is called Choir of Man. Um, I haven't even looked to see what it's about, but everyone says it's a really good show. So our group is going to see it, and we'll see uh, how good it really is. I probably won't be able to film in there, but I'll give you a little quick recap of what I thought. Great entertainment. Una bella pesciate. This is the Manhattan dining room. It's the biggest dining room. Hey, look at who I ran into. Hey, Johnny B. You look sharp. I always try, you know me. Yeah, you look you look good from, from here up. From right, from here down, forget it. <laughs> so this is the Manhattan dining room. It's the biggest dining room on the ship. This is where we're having dinner tonight. 
and it's really nice. We have a reservation for 8.30. Uh, really, really busy, let me tell you, but really, really hungry. So I'll show you my dinner when I get it. It's not the same, but we just saw an amazing show. Wish you were here. Hi guys, miss you guys. Wish you were here. It's not the same, but we are having a lot of fun. Yeah. Paul, it's not the same. We're having dinner. Sandy, codfish, free. <laughs> it's for free. All you can eat. Hi guys, we miss you so much. We wish you were here. I love you both. But I know. I love you. Paul, Sam, we miss you guys. We wish you were here with us. We're having a great time on the escape. And uh, again, we really wish you were with us, but we're having a fun time and we're having some drinks for you. Okay, cheers, Paul. Codfish, great. All you can eat. Heading into the awesome 80s dance party. It starts in a half hour. One of the many theme parties on the ship. It's dead right now, but it'll be hopping in about 30 minutes. my birthday we're gonna be getting off the ship in about an hour and I think we're doing some kind of lazy river um, which isn't too far from the ship but it's a little bit of the topography it's a little hilly here um, and we'll see what the day brings I'm kind of looking forward to checking Dominican Republic I've never been to the country it's my first time here and uh, I hope we have a good day all right, I'm getting ready to go to my dinner, my birthday dinner at Teppanyaki. But this chandelier is so cool, it changes colors on different day. I think the last time I videoed it, it was red, and now it's blue and green on the seventh floor, which is the level for the casino. The sixth floor is some of the specialty dining restaurants where we're gonna be going. And the stairwell is so cool, that also changes color. But yeah, I'm gonna show you a little bit of Teppanyaki, which is my dinner. It's a Japanese hibachi, and I think you guys will love that. I bought myself a birthday present. It's a Batman watch from Invicta, and it's pretty cool. Hey, everybody. We're at Teppanyaki for my birthday dinner. It's the hibachi place on the ship. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Appreciate it. I can't wait. This is so good. The food here is amazing. I want everybody to sing together. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Thank 
I'm just running this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Watch yep. it. Ready, watch. Comes the volcano. If you're enjoying the video or found it entertaining in any way, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel vlogs and entertainment videos. Check out the sunny sunset going over the, the water with the layer of clouds. It's so cool. It's only like 6.40 p.m. So the sun sets way earlier down, down this way. But I think their sunsets are pretty consistent throughout the whole year. Um, but yeah, it's just beautiful. I had to run up to the 17th deck to get a photo. Sorry, a video of this. watch this game show put my name in to see if I get selected so hopefully I do that would be a lot of fun I'm back at the La Cucina on the ship last time I was here was for my birthday last year here with a couple of my friends we're sitting outside we're on the side of the ship where there's about zero breeze coming through but it's still great hope you enjoyed part one of this cruise vlog on the Norwegian Escape. Hopefully you got a sense of what it's like on the ship, including some of the entertainment and dining options. Stay tuned for part two of the series when I take you along with me to Taino Bay and Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, and Great Stirrup K, Norwegian's private island located in the Bahamas. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.